it's been almost a year since my YouTube channel started and that is one big big thing to say because a lot has happened in that said year um, I went from having 200 subscribers to having t over 25,000 and yeah man a, a lot's happened that's you know made my life different from back then as well and one of those things in fact the most the most the biggest thing of course is the whole you know 25,000 subscriber thing you know that happened in less than a year which is pretty damn amazing if I do say so myself but um there were a lot of changes that happened underneath the surface as well. While you guys have been seeing a lot of the exterior stuff, like, you know, the the, the, view, the videos with much more views and the stuff about, you know, the, the Pokemon not being posted as much because of the transition to 6th gen and then the Pokemon Bank thing. But, um, basically, you guys have seen a lot of change on this channel as well. And I've been feeling that change a lot more than you guys have been seeing it. And one of the things that that change has done is before, I would post videos about whatever I felt, however I felt, you know, whenever I wanted. And it really helped me because a lot of the time I wouldn't really have somebody to vent to. And so you guys would be pretty much the only people that I could talk to. And when I was a smaller channel, like a thousand subs, and, you know, I would talk about some of the stuff that I run into, the way I'm feeling. If I was feeling down, I would tell you guys about it. And, you know, I know that that's not really what Poketubers do or in general YouTubers because, you know, it's kind of difficult. To be honest, man, I know a lot of the other Pokemon YouTubers don't really talk about themselves like this, especially in such a personal manner. But, I mean, I always felt that I wanted to, even though it's putting my life out there. I really didn't have any concern about that, you know, because at the end of the day, I really, I really don't have much insecurity about myself. That's why I felt the need to do so. But then add 25,000 subscribers, a whole lot of pressure and other YouTubers watching you and things changed. Let's just say that after that, after the big blow up and, you know, I kind of just felt like I'm becoming, I'm becoming detached from you guys. And one of the main reasons is that I kind of feel pressure from certain viewers, certain, subs well, I mean certain subscribers and certain other YouTubers because, you know, it's kind of like if I post about myself like I did before I became big, then I just, I, I know that I would be seen in a certain way. I mean, I'm already seen in a certain way as it is. I know a lot of other YouTubers out there are like, oh, this uppity bastard, you know, like, <laughs> oh man, he had to suck off Zen on and Pikachu to gain a big buzz and subs, you know? Yeah, I know a lot of you think that shit. Oh, he's had 18,000 channels in the past, you know? Well, I already know I get a lot of people thinking about that. I already know groups of people out there talk about me as it is, and that comes with the territory of being a public figure. I'm a-okay with that, but it does add some pressure to me, whereas there are things that I've always wanted to post in the last maybe like three, four months, and I just felt, nah, because you know, that person's gonna see it, or that YouTuber, or these YouTubers are gonna see it, and then I'm gonna just, they're gonna perceive me to look like I'm, I'm either weak, I'm a, I'm a cornball, I'm a chump, you know, I'm, I'm being too open with my life on YouTube, you know, and it, I just, I just know that there'd be all these, these pre, like, I just know that they would perceive me in so many ways, and I, I don't, I have a thing where I kind of don't like being judged negatively, you know, I kind of want to portray myself in the best light possible, and so, I know I have that issue where it's like, you know, if I don't, if I'm not portraying myself in a good manner, then I don't want to do it at all. And that is a big deal with me, you know, that kind of hinders my progression sometimes because rather than posting stuff or doing stuff, I just don't and wait until I'm able to do so in the manner that I want. And if you know that you're not going to get that in a while, it kind of hurts you, you know, but I would not post stuff about my life as much. In fact, some of you guys who have been here for a while, like some of you guys who have seen me in my earlier videos, you remember I made a video talking about stuff that's going on in my life all the time, you know? It was it was a constant thing and it would help me so much because I would get so many different opinions on how I should handle certain situations and, you know, things I could do. I would always get support, you know? I thought of an ingenious way to describe this. It was ingenious, basically. Um, So, Etika, Etika World Network, I'm Etika, right? And you know, I feel like I've just been, I've been kind of like neglecting Desmond. I've been giving Etika all the shine and the glory, but Desmond's kind of been neglected for this past year because, I mean, especially after the, the whole blow up, it's like, you know, and so I, I, I feel like I'm just letting other people influence the stuff that I post. And because of that, I've just been feeling sad lately because I just feel kind of detached from you guys. I feel like I'm not, 
I'm not being that same person that I was beforehand. And plus, I have some problems now that I would love to talk to you guys about, but what was stopping me was just my, oh man, I know I know this person's gonna think this, I know they're gonna think that, you know, I'm going, I feel like I'm being pressured from all angles to just post certain stuff. Like, oh, don't make a real life vlog. Don't talk about your issues on YouTube, you know? You're a public figure. You can't talk about your, your personal problems, you know, how is that gonna make you look? And sure, YouTube is a place where you can get discovered, you can broadcast yourself, you can be a big public figure, you can have a million people following you and being your fans. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's still that personal, it's still that personal video channel where you can make what you want and post what you want. So it's not like I'm a celebrity or anything. And I just need, I just forgot that. Somewhere along the line of almost the last year, I forgot that I'm also a human being with this thing. So I've just been doing video after video, just working nonstop without and, and you know, I didn't start YouTube, I didn't start YouTube to just be posting nothing but gaming videos. I started YouTube, Attica World Network, a whole lot of things. I wanted YouTube to be an outlet for me. I wanted to be able to talk about certain issues that bother me, certain problems, you know? And I know some of you may be like, you know, Etika has problems? Yes, yes, Etika has personal issues. Etika has a lot of stuff going on, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not... I, I know I may portray myself to be like this amazing one in a million guy, but I'm really, I, I got issues just the same as you guys do. I got problems, you know, and I would talk about them before, and then I just stopped because I felt like, oh, let me not portray my, I don't want to be perceived as weak by other YouTubers or be portrayed as this by certain viewers. I know, I know certain people are watching me, and, and those people, I would not want them to see me in like a state where I'm just talking about my issues, but you know what? At the end of the day, I have to say fuck that, because... Right now, I'm feeling like so detached from the subscribers, and sometimes, like, I still find the videos fun, but sometimes I just don't feel like doing them. And you guys can tell, I haven't posted in a while, so, you know, sometimes I just feel like, you know, oh man, you know what, fuck it, I don't feel like posting shit, you know, like, I just feel, I just feel so detached, and, you know, I don't feel good when I don't post. Like, it's not like I don't post and then I say, yes, I feel so free, I didn't post, yay, you know, oh man, I feel relieved. Oh, I feel amazing, you know? Like, damn, I didn't post a video today, you know? And I felt so good not doing it. I feel like I'm free now. No, I do not feel like that when I don't post. In fact, I feel horrible when I don't post because I, I know I like it. I know I want to do it, but I don't do it because I just didn't know why I felt so burnt out. I felt really burnt out. And so, yeah, man, I just, I just, and then I thought, I just kept thinking about certain things. Where do I feel the most like strain from. And then when I thought of, oh, other people's perceptions of me, they're gonna think that, they're gonna think that, they're gonna get this from that. You know what? Well, I guess that comes to the territory of trying to be a personal channel, man. So at this point, I mean, I'm not saying fuck everything. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about me. I'm not saying that because that's a very ignorant way to go about things. You know, I still care about perception. You know, I still care about you guys' input. But from this point forward, I'm no longer going to let perceptions of other people stop me from posting what I wanna post, you know? I'm not going to let what other people think of me slow me down when it comes to posting the way I want because while they may make fun of me for it, I see it as a way to let off some steam, to really connect with my viewers, my subscribers, and there's 25,000 of you guys, so that's a lot of dudes to connect with. No homo, <laughs> holy shit, no homo, but you know, that's a lot of people to, to talk to about things, you know? There's things I've wanted to post it, like, you know, oh, guys, you know, what do you think about this situation? Or, oh, how many of you in the NYC area, you know, know something going on? Or, you know, I, I, I've, I've, or, you know, just posting personal stuff, you know? But I just felt like, you know, I can't do that because I'm a big YouTuber now. You know, I have an audience that's huge and I can't, I can't post personal stuff like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm just going to change that, you know? Fuck that. I'm going to be as personal as I want to with you guys. You guys will pretty much be in the front seat of my life as it goes on because this YouTube thing, I'm not just approaching it as a hobby. I'm approaching it as a career, as a possible growth opportunity I'm, I'm approaching it as a place where I can really be myself and do a lot of things that I like not just gaming you know what I mean so yeah I just wanted to make that video I should, I'm not gonna let what other people think of me hold me back anymore and I did up until now just because I felt pressured to conform and you know like I said a lot of other poketubers that aren't personal like this you know I mean not that it's bad or anything but they just a lot of people aren't personal like that you know so I really take pride in the ability that I can really talk about myself and you know put my issues and my problems out there and you guys will receive them and help me you know get over them and you know talk to me about certain things I, I really appreciate that and I feel like you know I, even though I feel like you know I don't really have much at this point, I, I keep forgetting. I have 25,000 people that are just ready to help me out with anything. And I'm going to remember that from now on. So, from this point forward, you're going to see Erica and Desmond post, you know. And hopefully when Desmond is in a better mood and feels better with his subscribers and his fans, then Erica will shine better than ever, you know what I mean? So, that's basically the issue I wanted to bring up. 
Um, think what you want of this. I know certain people will just be like, oh, this weak-minded bitch, you know, but I mean, I don't care. At this point, I'm going to do what makes me happy. I'm going to do what I feel like doing. I'm going to post what I feel like posting. And for those of you who want to input on it, definitely feel free to, to help me out, to, you know, to talk to me about certain things. And if you don't want to and you just want to cut ass on me, then go ahead. I, I always like the idea of being a good laugh, but... You know, just don't. If okay, if you want to, you can go post it in the comments. But I mean, I don't give a fuck at the end of the day. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that mentality. I don't really give a fuck. I give a fuck to a degree, but not to a degree where I'm not gonna do what I feel like doing because you know of other people and their thoughts of me. I'm not. Yeah, so that's the thing. Damn, I always don't know how to end out these videos, so I'll just say have a damn good one. Yeah. <laughs>